Hello dear friends, I'm going to running out of this car. So I need to make something new. Let's see the color. It's a too bright. This one is a treasure. I'm going to need to go through all this everything. And do it. I just came back from Coachella and uh, my mind still totally in this dizzy mindset. It's hard to come back to real life. Huh? so easy to just have fun and uh, and forget everything and uh, get get lost and get lost but finally we have to come back to to life put it aside so I don't know what I want to want to say I got some friends on the on the when I was driving when I am driving when I drive I always think about uh, a lot of words a lot of things I want to share with you but once I'm in front of the not in front of the camera once I'm beside the, the camera and ready to talk I wish him it's gone. I don't know what to talk about, what to say. I do not know. So, this one, I think I was thinking about... Uh, about what? About what? I was... I might be thinking about... <coughs> excitement of life so I think once I have, I have mentioned I have said that uh, if life is always the big event oh yeah that's one time I went to the conference the industry conference after that conference I was sick got excited and got inspired, very, very, very motivated and just uh, just becoming so motivated and the next day I have to go back to school to start my work and uh, it was quite, uh, quite tough actually, quite uh, challenging to go back to, to work because uh, I, <coughs> you get all the excitement, you get all the the energy and uh, and uh, think big, talk big, and then you're lost, and then you are in this dream set, and so excited, and then finally you have to go back to your daily life, daily work, which is uh, which is not as uh, as uh, glamorous, like grand, not as grand. So it was quite tough to come back to to daily life. And today I was thinking about it again. The our life is composed of all these small and big moments. And if our life every day is these big moments, these big moments is actually very empty. And if our life is only the tiny, little, tedious daily life, routine life, errands, errands, then our life will become so not interesting and so losing its direction we are we are 
lost in the little tiny small things, small details. So it's not as exciting. And uh, the key is to find the balance between between them. And uh, I don't know what I was trying to say. I I'm so excited by this Coachella thing and uh, for a lot of people I uploaded the, the video and uh, got some views of course these videos are quite uh, quite noisy I do not mean the music is noisy it's mostly because uh, I am videotaping with my little small camera it does not have any good sounding and uh, those beautiful music become quite uh, it does not re reveal any of the goodness of those videos and uh, i'm sorry for that but to my surprise i got views i got people still watching it and people say that how excited they are to see i was there to see and to feel part of it so it makes me think what is more important or what is more interesting in in making a video in attracting and um, oh, this one is not straight and we are it's a uh, we say nowadays is digital age. Another thing I want to say is, is about this digital age. That digital age makes useless things become useful. Make use, useless people become useful. So, um, where was I? Yes. The digital age. So I was in Palm Spring and uh, and saw a lot of uh, kind of interesting different lifestyle and uh, for a lot of people, I think uh, being not doing things is a job, is a career, and is their livelihood. The other day when we had. Um, uh, <clears throat> when we had uh, uh, a seminar, there was one keynote speaker talking about uh, the age of uh, the age of necessity and the age of uh, abundance. Now, what we are living is in the age of abundance. So, something used to be important is no longer that much important. Something used to be totally a waste is now becoming not a waste, become useful. And uh, he mentioned about Kim Kardashian, and uh, he he was in a hotel Las Vegas or somewhere, and find everybody was following. There was a big crowd. Why there was a big crowd? He asked, and the people say there was a Kim Kardashian is here. I cannot even pronounce her name. And uh, he did not know why he became famous. He did not know this person, Kim Kardashian, and uh, he called his daughter to get some reference. And um, he asked her, who is that lady, Kim Kardashian? Who is, who is she? And uh, the daughter said, she's uh, a celebrity. And then the professor asked uh, her daughter, cultural um, consultant, pop cultural consultant, and uh, why is she famous? And uh, for what she is famous? She's famous for nothing. And uh, <laughs> modern life, it's. Uh, it is, you like it or not, you want to swallow it or not, that is the truth. 
the truth is that uh, we used to think people who do not work and become their livelihood. Not doing anything is their livelihood. And uh, the world is, does, not, does not need that much production already. And uh, machine has replaced people. So I think in San Francisco, the, uh, the tall way is replaced by machine. And you go to airport every time you check in. You can go to automatic check-in without talking to a person. So if you are tech savvy enough, you go to the airport, you do not even need to talk to anybody unless until you go to the security and you will be touched by people, right? <laughs> so that is, uh, that is uh, our uh, modern life like this. So what am I trying to say? I think I am trying to make a point. A point. Am I trying to make a point? Maybe I am trying to make a point. The point is... The point is that there is no point. There is no point in this... In this... Uh, In this real and artificial world, it's uh, I don't know. I am lost. And uh, today's life is so different from the teaching we learned, from the teaching we were taught. And um, it is so easy to get lost. So I think nowadays the important thing, I am just guessing, the important thing is not It's not um, how many things you make, but uh, the important thing is how you live your life to the fullest. I do not like those people who do not do anything. and. Uh, there is a problem with the society's uh, morality standard that we cannot help. Everybody wants to become famous and uh, everybody has the chance to become famous. You have uh, a skill, you can be famous. You do not have a skill, you can be famous. You can be famous because you are pretty you can become famous because you are shameless. The movie star, they are famous. The fashion model, they are famous because they are pretty. There are people famous because they are not pretty. And there are people who become famous because they bring out something shocking. Shocking. And... Um, I, I heard there is such a thing called honey boo boo. I have never seen it, and I do not know. I only thing I know is that uh, that uh, there was a young young girl at very young age, at very young age. She was very pretty. She is very pretty, 
I don't know if she's born pretty or, 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 or made up, made into pretty. That's another question. But, uh, but uh, seeing her life uh, developing, and especially her mom, way of talking is quite quite interesting i have never seen but uh, from what i have uh, i have read from the 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 a little bit of article from yahoo or from somewhere i was thinking it's quite interesting that is a very interesting person i think she has this uh, very, very frank, true to the core, audacious frankness. It's quite, uh, it's just uh, interesting to see. And uh, <clears throat> do not use too much of your judgment. No need. No need. You go to concert, you hear people people talking bad words, and those words are forbidden in our school, in any school, but they are speaking loud and clear and shouted out with all these grows worse and uh, they make money and they become rich so what is the moral standard the society is valuing so if you think the moral standard is important on the other hand you may think on the other side on the other hand on the other side of this matter People has energy. You have energy. People have energy. People have a lot of passion. A lot of uh, a lot of uh, a lot of emotion need to be expressed. Energy need to be expressed. If you enclose it it will become problem. And if you bring it out, it may be good for the society, good for the world. So don't be afraid, people talking bad words. Make sure you do not talk if, you, if it is not your own language, if it is different from your language. Do not talk it, and do not make judgments. There are people, if they do not talk bad words, they may do bad things. So if you value these two things, is that better to let them say bad words and express themselves, and do ordinary things, do harmless things, not doing harm things, or let them be quiet, and get uh, the energy inside, get the, the mm, get the infected virus inside the body and become a bad thing. So did I make any point clear? I do not want to make any point clear because there is no clear point. And uh, what I think is that uh, as much as you can, open up your heart, enjoy what you can enjoy, and uh, accept different things, different people, different way of life different ideology, different religion, different thoughts, different thought process. 
open your heart and embrace them. If you cannot beat it, um, join them. If you cannot beat them, join them, right? The, but uh, the most fascinating thing about this concert in Coachella is the energy. Some friends ask me which one is my favorite. I do not have a favorite performance because this is the first time I go there. I do not know anything. I do not know any person. I do not know any of these bands. But anyway, in Coachella, nobody knows nobody, so do not worry about that. You are not left alone if you do not know anybody. And uh, the thing that really inspires me is that each people are in joy, in joy, heart and soul. And I see the guitarist, I see the singer, I see the, the drummers. They, oh, it is so passionate they play and they are so good. And it is the most inspiring thing to see people play their truc, play their, play their things and play it right. Do their things, do it right. No matter a soccer player, no matter a football player, no matter what background, no matter what play instrument you use, you are using your heart and soul to do it and do it right. This is the most inspiring. And this inspires the whole world. I am so lucky that I had a chance to go there this time. It's very, very inspiring. It's very inspiring. It's eye-opening. If you have a chance, make sure you go there. It's something that uh, you need to go once in a lifetime to understand to understand what is beauty, what is use. Oh, you see the most beautiful girls, you see the most beautiful, you see the coolest dudes, you see the most beautiful thing in the world. And you see, it is just so useful, so full of energy. Use, use, so useful, so young, so full of energy, and so cool and so crazy. Have a good time, right? Have a blast there. Like it. Hope I can go there again, and uh, and every time, every year, enjoy it, and uh, and. Live life to the to the fullest. I think we should do that. Hmm. At the age of abundance, it is kind of. Uh, not scary, it's kind of scary that so many, pe so many people do not do things and they live a life, they live a, they live a, a comfortable life. But uh, if they do enjoy that life or if they do have something, it's another story we do not know. But, uh, everybody wants to I think we may just stop judging people, judging ourselves, judging things based on what we do, what we should do, what we could do. We should uh, judge ourselves based on how much heart and soul we put into the things we do. We judge ourselves by our passion, by our... If one person use 
peace, use her heart uses. If a person uses his or her heart and soul and enjoy to the maximum, low maximum, then it is a meaningful, successful, fulfilled life. No matter I'm doing blah, 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 or I'm doing painting, as long as I enjoy it, it is okay. do another blah 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 video about love when I was in when I was in the Coachella in the hotel I received some let's say video request do a blah 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 about love love is to be enjoyed, to be enjoyed with love and with pain, with pleasure and with pain. Papa, we are going to eat what time? Are we going to eat outside or going to come back? 好的，那我就，我们就一起去吧。对，你想去 board walk？ 我有点想换一个新的，但是哪还有新的？啥事了？破烂，我土包，我我我多，那是个。哎，我那还有彩色的纸呢，今天要贴一些纸。我们有那个 ink printing ink， 对 ，colored， 大哥，大哥，我好了，走吗？啊，你吧，走吧，不收拾了，不收拾。好的，哎，那个歌是谁唱来着？耶耶耶，耶耶耶，安安。